will. That's the idea of having this conversation to bring clarity. So, Pierre, to add to that, uh, you are working on the field, yes. and you said that you already think that it's a very uh, potent, knowledgeable community of farmers. Yes. Uh, and then, how do we, we, we whatever Auroville is known for the innovations, it came in the 90s, it came in the 80s, right? Yes. You talk about, now we see that the China is greening the deserts. Uh, Israel mm -hmm. is totally self-sufficient, even though bulk of their land is, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. like fallow, yeah. correct? Uh, and there are so many other innovations, like there are multi-layered cultivation in Singapore. Um, where is the innovation, where is the research and development, and where is the aspect of sharing knowledge? I hear so many volunteers who want to come here and work. Um, and then is there a conscious way of sharing knowledge in Auroville, do you think? I mean, the first part of the, uh, the, the, the question and my answer will be the means we put at the disposal of uh, making this happen, you know. Uh, the finance are, are really tough, you know, the farmer also uh, struggling, even if they have subsidies, maintenance and all this, it's really not easy to maintain a garden and to develop it, uh, especially when you need to generate, uh, yeah. uh, yeah, no, it's not that easy. So, of course, uh, Israel, China, uh, not Turkey, but uh, Libya, Libya, yeah. have you seen Libya? I mean, I say Gaddafi, but uh, it's amazing what he did in the desert. Huh? His beer is just unbelievable. It's just like, wow. So we have also to make a budget and really intention is there, but I don't see in the town hall for the last 15 years people who have been uh, really, uh, sorry, huh? <laughs> yes, uh, no, 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 I'm, I'm, yeah. yeah. Uh, supporting uh, this uh, financial uh, thing, right. you know? Without finance, you think how we, we are need going to invest a little on the R&D. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. I don't see innovativeness. You know, it, maybe it is there in small pockets, but it's not visibly outside. Yeah. I, I think it, it's, it's, it's the not in the right proportion everyone. for sure. Yeah. yeah, it's. I'll just add to it that in, well, from my film background, we used to have a saying that creativity lies in the budget. The, the budget decides how creative you can be. And similarly, it's here. We mm. have always been fighting for, or like scrounging for finances. Mm. That's primarily because we haven't explored all the options, as I feel it, I might be wrong. Yeah. But I, as I see that Auroville is a project that cannot be built individually or just by donations and, you know, like a small donations from people. Right. More government institutions have to be involved. Okay. You know, like, I, I'm, I'm sure China is not doing by himself without the support of an international community, or for that matter, Israel. Right. We have to involve many more governments in various sectors. India, as the host country, can only take on <coughs> one aspect or two, maybe the infrastructure, the basic infrastructure, the land. Mm. But all other sectors, you know, like the food production or the farming is one, sports, education, all other sectors, if it is divided among, you know, say, like 10, 12, the top nations of the, of the world, then, the, you know, like, the budget is there. And then the mind starts thinking. Then people start getting creative. Once we have the means, then we, the, yeah, the canvas opens up. Okay. Right now, I mean, as, as, as I see it, every single farm has been set up on individual, by individual money. You know, because Oroville, the central fund, did not have the capacity to support them. So it comes, it's a natural thing that if I have invested an X amount, I would first like to get it back before I start giving it something to the community. And that might take a long time for some, some farms, which is why, you know, like farm cafes spring up and all that, and maybe like the farmers are more interested in doing courses and uh, workshops than farming because they have to get back their investment into it. Okay. Uh, let me take the analogy of the filmmaking itself. I believe somehow, a little bit I differ in the opinion, that I believe creativity lies in the constraints. Look at Satyajit Ray and look at uh, all the you know, expensive films that are being made. He did whatever he managed with his meager resources, incredible. So, uh, second is also the need is the mother of innovation. Invention. In invention. So, the, we, if there is a will, there is a way. 
So if Correct. we want to do, I think that's where this, the idea of this conversation is also to bring out a collective aspiration so that we all take back something and look beyond just the necessities, the need, the immediate. I want to...